Hi guys, so I thought we would um, continue with our journey through Alison Chains' Dirt album um, and we are up to Down in a Hole, um, which is a brilliant tune. Um, awesome on there, Unplugged. Um, so there is a, an acoustic on this. Um, it is all still tuned down half a step. So if you want to play along with the album and for this video, you're going to need to detune everything down. So you're going to play... <laughs> That's how your E major should sound. Okay, so um, let's crack on with the first riff, shall we? Now I'm going to go through um, a couple of the sounds that they use as a little bit of chorus, I think, and then uh, I'm using the Friedman BOD again. I'm loving this at the moment. It's a really nice, um, nice sounding pedal and perfect for Mr. Cantrell, who actually uses Friedman amps anyway now. So this first riff is brilliant fun, but you're going to need some finger picking for this. Um, great to play on an acoustic as well. Um, so it sounds like this. Okay, it's um, it's not that difficult to play, but to play it nice and cleanly, um, which I wasn't doing particularly well there, um, you will need to, to um, uh, focus on the the finger picking and the chord changing. So you're basically just playing in uh, A minor. And then G to D. Okay, so. Um, so the first um, note, you're basically plucking two strings, the A string and the B string, both open. hammering on so if you make the kind of a minor shape take your first finger off play the a and the b string and then return your first finger to where it should be for the a minor and then you're going to do a little run down from the g to the d string so you're going to be plucking those two notes there so the second frets basically then you're going to play the first bar okay so that's slowly okay slowly again then you're going to shift to the G and again you're going to be playing two notes you're going to be playing both E strings uh, both G notes on both E strings okay and then you're going to do so I would use my um, my thumb and my um, third finger here. So then you've got your second and your first to um, do that descending kind of arpeggiation uh, on the B and G string. As soon as you play those three notes, you're changing to the D. But you're going to be playing two notes again: the root, which is the D, and the E string, which is at the moment F sharp, where your second finger is. Okay, so, and that um, actually holds out for um, a, a full beat or two um, eighth notes. And then you play, okay, which is basically like the a D5 arpeggio. Okay, so that second bar again. Again slowly. Okay, and then the whole thing slowly. And you might find it's quite tricky going from the D back to the A minor. Okay, so um, that may take a little bit of work, but Stick with it, you will get there. So over that lovely um, rhythm part, there's a little solo snippet before the distortion comes in, okay? Uh, and it plays this. And then you're into that. That 
bit. More on that in a second, okay? So, um, very briefly, you're just going to play double stop. So, it's nice and simple. You've got your uh, first two fingers on the fourth and third fret on the G and B. And then you need your third and fourth fingers ready to go to the fifth fret. Okay? And then you're going to play this little run down. Pretty straightforward. Okay? So you'll see that all in the tab. And then you've got this lovely palm muted part, um, which carries it over so you get this two, three. Okay, so very basic, palm muting comes in one, two, three. Okay, so you're playing that there. And then I'm sliding my first finger up to the fourth fret to play this next position. And then your first finger goes up again onto the fifth. All right, so that, that slowly. And the first beat is four, five, seven, four, five, seven on the adjacent string, that's D and G. Then you go up to the B string and you're gonna play this little triplet. Uh, hammer on and pull off. And you get two guitar parts that come in playing this um, harmonized part, okay? So you'll hear. You'll hear roughly that, okay? But it sounds a lot messy when you play like that. So the higher of the two harmonized parts plays two, three, four. Okay, it's pretty basic, but it's lovely. Um, and if you can record yourself, let me see if I can play it in my pedal. Two, three, four. looper pedal so um, that's how it should sound okay there is another bit actually so we have a bit of chorus so I've, I'm using an analog chorus sound you can see the settings up there um, so that's roughly the sound that I'm going for there um, I think that comes off and then you go in into um, some lovely old distortion and um, so I'm going to the bridge pickup for this bad boy so I think one of the guitars is playing so if you're just playing that on like an acoustic it's exactly the same as before you just um Just um, rocking out the, the chords basically. So that slowly. Same as before basically. And I'm only playing the bottom half of the G chord there. And then changing back to the D. So exactly the same chord progression, but. Um, you can play that with a bit of distortion. But what Jerry plays there is this. Okay, so he's playing basically uh, the A string, but he's... 
playing that on the D string along with the open A string. Okay, so you get that great. And he goes to the G. He plays, I think it's him. So you get that. Which he does loads of, I love all that. Um, that's pretty much that bit, and um, slowly that is. So then the chords change, and Jerry's part in uh, this bit is just pretty much the same. You're just moving um, up one string, so rather than you're playing on the D. Or the open D. Um, same pattern of um, notes. And then it's like a C add 9 to G. So those two together. Okay, you get the idea. The other guitar part, you can be playing um, basically this. So clean that would be but with distortion and then you've got this great melodic chord riff that comes out at the end of it which goes like this starts playing that okay so let's go through that slowly we have d5 e to f four power chords uh, a c major and you've got this which is awesome uh, it's just basically a slide up and down then you go down to the F, okay, first fret. And there's another slide. Okay, so that's slowly. And there you have it. That's um, that awesome riff. Now there's some solo bits. Now when the, I can't remember which verse it is, might be the second or third, I forget now, but um, that intro bit, that comes back in again. So you'll hear that again. So you can put that in uh, again. It's exactly as per the beginning, I think. Um, but there isn't really a solo. There's just some sort of little noodly bits that go um, over the top of the chorus. So let me go through those for you. Now the first part that you'll hear come in over this. Okay, you'll hear just a, a very subtle bend. It's a full bend and release. Seventh fret on the uh, G string. Okay. okay, so it's over that part. Next up is this. Two, three, four. I think he holds the 10th fret, so basically um, starting on the 10th fret, but it starts on the 8th note before the first beat of the bar, so you're going to get 2, 3, 4, and the kind of lower section of that riff is... Next bit's lovely and melodic. It basically plays this two, three, which is awesome. It comes in which is amazing. 
string, so nice to play. And um, really fluid as well, so you're going to play 4th fret on the D string. And slide up, slide down to the 5th and back. And then you're going to bend back to the 5th to the, uh, fret with a half step bend, okay? And then you release that. And then you're going to slide down, and this is all in like one pick at the beginning, basically, and then it's all um, all very legato, okay? I'm just picking that first bit. So the last half of that is a slide down, pull off to the open string. back on and then bend up for um, two frets or full step and release you can um, pick that that um, last bend up to you and the last bits are up here which is a lovely bend it's actually one and a half steps that so you go one two three I guess a bit muddy there. Then you've got a series of bends. I think that's what he plays there. Now over this next bit. Think of that bit. It's got some some whammy going on there, but um, I haven't plugged that in. So basically, you can do it like this. And then at the outro, there's some noodly bits. You'll hear a little bit of that double stop on the fifth fret on the uh, G and B string. Then you get this bend, release, and then pull off. Uh, then at the end of that phrase is, uh, which is the very last eighth note of that bar. Okay. Then you play this one, two. Which is. There's a very subtle bend. And in this phrase, which is on the first beat, two, three, four. Awesome, really bluesy riff. That slowly. Two, three bars are this. Two, three, four, one. It's just an octave. You're going to bend up the eighth note. And the ending is one, two, three. It's part of the A major. But you're gonna play. So the open A, seventh and the uh, sixth fret on the next um, strings up. The hammer on. So it's four. And that is it. So hope you enjoyed that one. There's a wealth of stuff in there. Um, and it's great fun to play. I love that one. So, um, yeah, get cracking and I will get cracking and try and get as more videos up as I possibly can for you. So um, I'm up late doing this, so uh, um, I hope you enjoy. So cheers. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.